In this episode, we have three unique customs. One, a beautiful set of hand-dyed Air Force Ones. Two, a comic book clash of superheroes and villains. Three, a Kobe 81-point inspired shoe custom. Also, for you customizers, stick around to the end for a bonus tip where we touch on how to paint the Nike swoosh. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Orlando. Welcome to Wall of Hype, where we showcase artists that can take plain kicks like Air Force Ones, Jordans, cleats, vans, and turn them into customs that sneakerheads love. But before I start, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. We have links to all featured artists and their work in the description below. Our first goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, let's get started. All right, our first project is a little bit different. Um, it's something that's in the customizing world, but let's take a look at it. Uh, the design is a Stussy and Nike hand-dyed Air Force One. Custom designer is Stussy, and the shoes, obviously, is an Air Force One Low. Um, so let's just take a look at this. Uh, it's all hand dyed. You know, you look at the details in this shoe, you know, you can see that they were obviously tie dyed. Um, but then you got the reds, the oranges, the yellows. You got the greens, the different forest colors, like the burgundies, the reds. Um, especially when you keep on just looking, you know, the, the midsoles, um, the outer soles, all part of the dye process. Um, again, I thought this was just a beautiful shoe to show and we have a video of the process um, so just let's take a look at this all hand dipped you know making sure the colors are in the shoe the fabrics and then they come out and on top of this start putting in the powder um, just and you can see they're rubbing it in um, getting it in there they're all unique in its own right um, so I personally thought this was just a, a different take on customs that I thought um, should be shared. Everything is always not hand painted, um, cut, customized. Also um, doing a little dye work um, and giving your own feel and idea to the process or to the culture or to the shoe um, should be represented. Great works, Dusty. Most of these shoes are already sold out. Wish you the best of luck. Next, we have the Marvel vs. DC Vans Custom. The designer, Simply Stephanie Art. The shoe customized is a Vans slip-on. Um, you guys can just take a look and see we have Spidey Venom for Marvel. And then we have Batman Joker DC. You can see how the face lines up almost perfectly. You know, the scream and the yell or the laugh of Joker and Batman. And then you have Spidey, Venom, and the tongue. Artwork behind it. The colors are just gorgeous. The emotion, the expression, the line art. It's like a comic book just sitting on your shoes. We have a video that kind of goes into a little bit of what um, was done in the process. I personally thought the blue on the Joker was amazing in the color blocking side, not realizing, oh, it was blue. Um, I was lost in the art. Um, so to see that paint job, I thought was just, it just threw me off guard. And then looking at the Spidey and Venom, you can see the blends, uh, the, the fading of the colors, especially with the oranges and the reds. And then you come out with the outline of, um, the details with the black. Beautiful job, Simply Stephanie Art. I hope you guys love this just as much as I do. Again, links are in the bio. You guys can check this out for yourself. Finally, we have a Kobe 81 Customs. The designer, Astro Turf Customs. The shoe customized is a Nike Kobe 4. The design is dedicated to the 81 points scored by Kobe nearly 15 years ago. When you look at this design, we have a lot that's going on yet. Um, it's beautiful, it's simple, 
but colorful. Um, I love the two color for the shoe. You got the blue with the gold, the deeper blues, the red, right? We also have the inside collar with colors, the repainting of the tongue and tongue tags. You can see that AstroTurf Customs used an airbrush with stencils. We have texture that's all inside of the design. You take a look at the toe box. You can see all those different whites, blues, um, cyans, and then on the red toe, you have the, the fire yellow just coming right across. And just looking at the details, you know, it looks like it's the Mamba Snake, but this has a lot going on, especially in the outer sole, the midsole. And then on the inside of the shoe, you have the Nike, just clean. I'm sure that was all stencil use right there. But overall, a beautiful, clean, um, bright design um, that I think a lot of people love. I also love the two different shoelace colors. Just the small touch, um, just to make these shoes stand out. A lot of NBA players are now using multicolored shoes when they're on the court. So this was just fitting. Now on to our bonus. Custom designer Cesla Vic shows us how to paint the Nike Swish. Now, I've been following her for a while and she does this as, to me, it looks like practice. So she takes a shoe, she draws on the swish, she gets the color in, and then she puts the tape back on top, cleans it up, and then she goes at it again with a different design. As you can see here, she's just taking the tape, she cuts right around the swish, cleans that up, then she takes the cleaner, cleans that all right out, and then she goes redesigning again for practice, to be able to do more of these over and over again. You know, for you customizers out there, this is one idea that you can start doing today. Take your shoe, customize the Nike Swish. It's simple, get your design right on there, walk around, have some fun, come back home, and do it all over again. Just wanna thank this artist for this inside look. I took it as an opportunity. She has hashtag Swish Sundays. Hope you guys check it out. Thank you, Ceslovic. This is some great stuff. That's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. Comment below and let us know if the bonus content was helpful or which one of these custom kicks is your favorite. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video from Wall of